Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Ornup Kundu. This is the continuation part of Python. So today I will discuss how to take inputs in array. Okay, and also discuss some other functions related to array like count, like index. Okay, so go to the computer screen. Today's topic user input in array. Okay, so at first we should know how to take input in array okay so go for an example suppose write from array import asterisk okay and after suppose write a equal and just write array and after we are put the data type it is a sign integer and just square bracket open and close means we create a blank array Okay, and after we write here n equal and write int and then write input and then suppose we write here enter the length of the array. Okay, means here we take the inputs that how many elements should present within that array. That's why the length of the array. Okay. And then we will use the for loop for i in and take a range and put the value as n because we don't know how many elements are there. So the length of the array should store within the variable n and that's why the range value is n. Okay. And then just write x equal int and then write input and then just write here enter the element for an array okay put a colon close this double quote close this parenthesis and again close this parenthesis okay and after just write a dot append means here we are using the append function a dot append to insert the element within that array okay and after we write for i in range means we want to print the each and every element which is provided within that array okay and just write print and just write a and within square bracket i okay and now put comma and then just write int equal and put a space okay and now save that file just go to the file just go to the e drive and choose python example put a name example 30.py and just go to the command prompt and write python example 30.py and press enter we should provide some input that's why given enter the length of the array so here what happened the python script ask for entering the length of the array so that's why given enter the length of the array suppose we put here 5 means we want 5 elements here so press enter so now also ask for entering values in array so enter the elements for an array suppose provide 10 press enter 20 30 40 and 50 and press enter so what happened after that this for loop prints all the elements whatever we are provide as input 10 20 30 40 50 okay in that way we can take input within an array okay. now suppose we search an element which is present within the array or not okay so just modify that python script so at first we write here print for the new line is concerned and then just write val equal and just write in and then write input and within that suppose we write here enter the value for search okay and after we close these two parentheses and press enter okay then suppose write k equal to 0 and just write the for loop for e in and just write a and then just check if e equal equal val put a colon and then just write here print and just write a within square bracket k comma just write within double quote that e is 
present in the array okay and then just close it okay and then just use the break statement here okay means if we find the element so don't need to search for again and again okay that's why I put that and then just write k plus equal one means the k is increment one after another okay and after we use the else here we are using for else statement okay and then just write here print and within double quote just write the element is not present in the array okay just close it okay now save that file and just go to the command prompt and just type python example 30 dot py and press enter so now again ask for entering the length of the array suppose put here 5 and again ask for entering the elements for an array so put suppose 10 20 30 40 50 5 elements is there so at first is just print means this for loop just print all the elements whatever we are provide as input within that array and now again ask for put a value for search so enter the value for search suppose we are provided here 30 and press enter so 30 is present in the array yes 30 is present in there so if we again execute this python script so again ask for the length so provide suppose 4 and again ask for the elements for the array suppose provide 12 24 60 and 74 and press enter so whatever the value we are provide as input within the array just print now again ask for the value for searching so suppose we have provide such value which is not present suppose we provide 90 which is not within that array element so then press enter so what the output the element is not present in the array okay now we talk about the other two functions suppose it is count and another is index okay so how it works just go for an example suppose right here from array import asterisk okay and after suppose write v equal array and then just provide the data type means it's a signed integer that's why it's small is there and provide some value 10 20 again provide 10 and suppose provide 30 and suppose 50 okay so total five elements is there and close this parenthesis and now suppose we write here print and just write v dot count okay and suppose we provide here 10 actually what happened this count function returns the number of times the element 10 appears in the array okay and again we use another function suppose write print and then suppose write v dot index and here just provide also 10 okay and this index function returns the index of the first occurrence of the element 10 in the array okay now set that file suppose we put a name example 32.py and press enter and just execute this python script example 32.py and press enter so what happened the 10 element is appear in that array two times so that's why this count provide as output 2 okay but the index when we provide the argument 10 so this element appears at first in the index 0 should remember the 10 is also appear in the index 2 but what happened the index function returns the index of the first occurrence so the first occurrence of 10 is the index 0 that's why it returns 0 okay now go for the another example suppose we create a new array from the existing one okay so we are just change here suppose we take some other values as the array element means we take array elements as different values suppose 2 4 6 7 and 9 okay val equal and suppose we write here again array 
and now what happened we create a new array so at first we need to provide the data type here we write here v dot type code which provide the data types okay and suppose here we write b asterisk b actually we store the new array element as the square of the elements of the existing one okay so that's why we are provide b asterisk b and then use a for loop for just use b in v okay and then close this to parenthesis and after we are using a for loop through which we can print each and every element of the new array so just write for i in val and put a colon and then write print i and put a comma and just write here end and within double quote just give a space okay and just save that file and just execute this python script right python example 32.py and press enter so what happened whatever the existing array is concerned the elements are 2 4 6 7 9 but the new array the values are just square of that element so just it provides 4 16 36 49 81 means the square of the element just provide as an element of the new array okay i hope that you have understood to this topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you and bye bye